In today's video, we're going through the best builds for the brand new Spotlight Terror Raid event for Great Tusks and Iron Treads in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This brand new Spotlight Terror Raid event will be running alongside the seven star Chestnut in its second phase as it returns to Scarlet and Violet this weekend, running from the 19th until the 21st of May. The new Spotlight Terror Raid event will feature Great Tusks and Iron Treads. For the first time, we'll be having Paradox Pokemon feature in this Spotlight Terror Raid event, and they will be exclusive to each version they're respectively found in. In Pokemon Scarlet, you're gonna get the Terror Raid event for Great Tusks, and in Pokemon on Violet, you're going to get the Terror Raid event for Iron Treads. Of course, players with access to a Nintendo Online subscription service will be able to go online and join raids from other players hosting these exclusive Pokemon Online. So if you're a Pokemon Scarlet player, you can join raids for Iron Treads and vice versa for Scarlet players who can join raids for Great Tusks to get them in your game. Now the raids themselves will be just five star raids. So they won't be very difficult compared to our normal seven star raids. And we don't have much information in regards to item drops with them. There's been a little few rumors about them potentially dropping Herba Mystic because they're related to Paradox Pokemon and Air Area zero where Herba Mystica kind of comes from but I don't know if that is going to be something that we see of course when the event goes live we'll drop all of the relevant information on these raids and whether or not Herba Mystica are going to be item drops with these raids or not of course I would love to see it. Great Tusks is a ground and fighting type and a paradox Pokemon so we'll have that signature protosynthesis ability. Now going off attacks it is going to come in a bunch of different terror types so the terror typing will be random depending on what the terror type is in your game but their base attacks are always gonna be the same. So that's what we're gonna look at for Pokemon to pick to go up against these things. Primarily, you're gonna see a lot of ground type attacks from the Great Tusk and fighting type attacks as well. It does get access to some coverage moves in knockoff. So that's something to kind of consider going into these raids, but primarily you're gonna see things like Headlong Rush, it's a signature attack. You may see things like Head Smash, which is rock coverage, which will cover things with a flying type. So that could be something that we do see mega horn another big attack that it gets close combat going to generally be on there earthquake could be an option and like i've already mentioned the knockoff going to be something that we probably see on there but i wouldn't say that we need to worry too much about coverage moves on the great tusks as i said it is a five star raid so it's not going to be like too difficult like the seven star raids and then we've got iron treads which is a ground and steel type pokemon it is a little bit faster than the great tusks but not really too much different other than that it will have the cork drive ability though now iron treads has similar kind of move coverage of course it does get access to terrain so it could set up its own cork drive uh, but primarily it's going to have access to ground type attacks things like stomp and tantrum things like earthquake that we're likely going to see on it it does get coverage in wild charge which is interesting and it's big steel type attack is going to be steel roller which removes terrains from the field so if that is something that you're thinking about going down the lines of it is a base 130 attack as well so that is a pretty strong attack it does get coverage in mega horn as well uh, heavy slam is its alternative steel type attack and it obviously gets iron head as well but i could see a combination of something like earthquake knockoff possibly steel roller and then wild charge but i wouldn't got anything really extravagant outside of that i would be surprised if we saw something like wild charge and the electric terrain to boost that i think it's going to be pretty straightforward like i keep saying these are five star raids so i wouldn't worry too much about what to expect from these and they're going to be a lot easier to take down than your standard seven star raids so the builds that we're going to go over in today's video specifically for these pokemon in the spotlight raids are going to be starting off with annihilate it is going to be a very good pokemon generally against both the great tusks and the iron treads obviously depending on its terror typing that it does have some terror typings might be a bit more difficult but between the ghost and the fighting coverage that annihilate does have you're pretty much going to have perfect coverage across the board against any certain terror typing that you'll see and there's not really anything that either the great tusks or the iron treads gets that's going to hit annihilate for super effective damage so the
the item choice that we've got on the Annihilate is going to be Shell Bell. The Terra typing that I went for is going to be Fighting, but you can go with that Ghost typing if you prefer. Depends on which game you've got and what you kind of prioritize here. The Fighting type is going to be nice against the Iron Treads. Uh, in particular, but the ghost terror typing is probably going to give you better coverage overall because it does keep your immunity to fighting type attacks to a minimum. You're going to be immune to those and you're still not going to really take too much damage from the ground type attacks either. Kind of standard set on the Annihilate for this one. We have the Drain Punch, Bulk Up, Screech and Rage Fist. The idea is going to be trying to get three Screeches off to minimize the defense stat on the Great Tusk and the Iron Treads and then go for those Bulk Ups and then start throwing out Rage fists you can go for drain punches if you need to get recovery and if it's super effective against that terror typing but overall with the defiant ability and the ev spread of 252 in attack and then 252 in defense you're going to be pretty set up well with this annihilate you're not going to have to worry about special type attacks so that's why the ev spread is like it is on this annihilate and like i say it is pretty pliable you can go for the ghost terror typing on the Annihilate if you would prefer to over the fighting, but I believe both will work going into this raid in this spotlight event. The next Pokemon that we're gonna feature is an old friend of ours from previous seven star terror raids, and that's gonna be Slowbro. Gonna do a great job into both the Great Tusks and the Iron Treads in particular. Gonna, because of that psychic typing, gonna resist fighting type attacks that could come out from the Great Tusks. And it's also going to resist any steel type attacks if you go up against an iron treads as well. Um, going for that psychic terror typing on there with the leftovers. You could also go water terror typing if you wanted to and maybe change the setup a little bit. But the basic premise of this set is going to be to set your iron defenses up first, then go for your three nasty plots, slack off when you need some recovery through health, and then hit either the great tusks or the iron treads with stored power. Now, the only problem you're going to have with using this specific slow bro is the fact that if you come up against a dark terror typing either iron treads or great tusks you're not really going to have a way to hit them so this is not going to be great for that but then that's where you can kind of rely a little bit more on the annihilate for this one ev spread for the slow bro is going to be 252 hp 252 special attack with a modest nature you could go 252 defense 252 special attack if you want like i say you're primarily only going to have to worry about physical attacks from these two spotlight pokemon uh, the ability here for the slow bro doesn't really matter so you can go with anything on there don't worry yourself too much if you think you need to change that but this is a slow bro with the leftovers it does really help out especially after you've got those iron defenses off you're not going to be taking too much damage at all and the leftovers recovery going to be really useful and make sure that you're not really going to have to rely too much on the slack off to keep your health intact now the next two are going to be just some options for you to go into this raid with if you don't want to use the more common options like Annihilate or Slowbro and the first one that we're going to feature is Miss Magus and this is primarily going to be a Pokemon that you're going to pick against Great Tusks so you Scarlet players I understand that this is a Violet exclusive Pokemon but hopefully by now you'll have been able to trade get yourself a Mistrevious and get your hands on a Miss Magus from a Violet player if you are a Scarlet player but it's going to be a great Pokemon to go in against the Great Tusks with the only thing that you're going to have to worry about is if it does have access to knockoff if that is an option it will make this a little bit more difficult but not impossible at all miss magus doesn't have the best defense stat but it does have great typing here with that ghost typing going to be immune to all of the fighting type attacks and it does have the ability levitate as well which gives it immunity to ground type attacks so you're going to be pretty much immune to all of those big stabs that the great tusk has access to giving it a lot of room to kind of set up and do some big damage pretty quickly quickly and run through these events pretty easily. So the held item on the Miss Magius is going to be the Shell Bell. We're going to have that Ghost Terror Typing as well. And then the move set itself is going to be Nasty Plot, Fake Tears, Dazzling Gleam and Shadow Ball. So the premise of this move set is going to be to get three Fake Tears off first turn, put the Great Tusk down to minus six. Then set your nasty plots up, get plus six special attack for yourself, and then use a combination of Shadow Ball or Dazzling Gleam to do some huge damage. And like I say, we've got that Levitate ability there, which gives you complete immunity to all ground type attacks coming out from the Great Tusks. And the EV spread is going to be 252 HP, 252 special attack there. So with a modest nature as well, is preferably what you want on this Miss Magius. And that is that one. And I think really against the Great Tusks is going to be a really really nice option the shadow ball and the dazzling gleam give you 
pretty much perfect coverage against any different terror type that you can go up against if it is a dark type obviously the shadow ball is not going to be that good or effective against it but then you have the dazzling gleam to kind of rely on and between the two you're going to be able to hit every single terror type that could be available in the games making it pretty easy for you to run through with the miss magus the only thing that i say would be a drawback would be that knockoff but the likelihood of it having it is pretty slim the next pokemon since we covered one for great tusks i'm going to cover one for iron treads and probably the best pokemon type wise against iron treads is going to be the rotom electric and fire typing it is going to resist the steel type attacks by four times so it's not going to take any damage from that we do have that fire terror typing as well and if you do see any ground type attacks from the iron treads you don't even need to worry about that because you have the levitate ability as well we've got the shell bell item on the rotom and a move set of sunny day nasty plot thunderbolt and overheat and an ev spread of 252 hp 252 special attack and like you can see we've got the levitate ability there and a modest nature is what you want on your rotom as well i haven't changed the natures on the rotom or the miss magus but they would be preferably modest and that's what i will be changing them to when going into this raid the premise of this is just get your nasty plot set up as soon as possible try and get three so your plus six special attack get a sunny day up as well and then launch your overheats now you would be thinking that thunderbolt might be a bit of a weird option considering these are primarily ground type Pokemon but they're not really going to have that ground typing very often they're predominantly going to have another terror typing meaning that you're going to be able to hit them for good damage with that thunderbolt and between the thunderbolt and the overheat you've got pretty good coverage against most terror types with the rotom especially against that iron tread so it's a pretty nice option against that one but between these four pokemon i don't see you having any issues at all going up against this spotlight terror raid event this weekend and running through and being able to kind of farm the items pretty easily or just get these Pokemon and be able to catch them in a bunch of different terror types. So these are my picks for this weekend. I would love to hear your thoughts on what you're planning on bringing this weekend. This Pokemon like Iron Hands as well, it's got a huge defense stat. It's easy to set up as well and it's going to do some good damage. It's got good coverage as well between its fighting type attacks. It gets access to dog type attacks and electric as well. So between those, it can do a good job. The only reason I didn't include it here is it just feel like Annihilate and Slowbro probably fit the bill a little bit better for more stability and durability going into these terror raids against the variety of different terror types and then you've got a little bit more fun on the end of miss magus which can completely wall something like great tusks and then the rotom heat which does a great job against the iron treads i think the only thing that you would need to watch out for on the iron treads if you are running the rotom is like roll out really because and the likelihood of it actually running rollout was pretty slim. But that is everything that we wanted to cover in today's video. Obviously, the event is going to be kicking off on Friday. We'll cover all of the details as soon as the event goes live, including the best builds to go in against it. But if you're wanting Pokemon just to build, a lot of you will have the Annihilate and the Slowbro already built in game. So these are going to be nice options for you just to take in and have an easy time against this Spotlight Terror event when it does go live. But thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Hope you found today's video useful. As always, if you have, please drop a like. It does go a long way to help the video out. Do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.